Northrop Canyon and Homestead Trail is only 16 minutes from the Grand Coulee Dam. If you're feeling adventurous, you can see the dam, dine at one of the many restaurants that are in the town, and hit the trail all in one day. The Northrop Homestead is only one and a half miles up the trail, and throughout the whole trail you will find yourself in the middle of basalt cliffs and rock formations. It's an absolutely stunning view, and honestly, it's something you have to see with your own eyes. The first part of the trail to the homestead is relatively easy. Once you get to the homestead, you will be greeted with the Northrop House and their outbuildings. The oldest of these buildings was built in the 1890s. The Northrop raised livestock, farmed a variety of crops, and had a few fruit trees which are still around today. Just after the homestead, on the trail, another one and a half miles into the Douglas Fir and Ponderosa Pines, which is the only forest to all of Grant County, there lies a lake, which is known to offer decent rainbow trout fishing and to be popular with fly fishing. About a mile and a half on the trail, just right before the homestead, you just basically walk through this canyon, and the formations on this canyon are just amazing. Cliffs are just insane. A lot of wildlife out here as well. Just past that is the homestead, open field. I'm out.
So I made it to the house that's at the middle of the trail, basically, if you're doing the whole way to the lake, old homestead. Looks like you could go in. Might give you a tour. I'm gonna walk up to the, probably the back of the house, I'd imagine, or the front. You got these amazing rose bushes right here. Not rose bushes, just probably natural flowers out here. It looks like the front door, that back door, front door is open. Got a little bench, so if you came out here, you could eat at this bench. I need to clean it up a little. <laughs> okay, my ice was up pretty high. Let's see what I can get for you guys. Hold up. There's a stove in here. I'm in the basement area. It's freaking cement foundation, though. It's crazy. It looks like it's got... This could be ducting. So, I mean, it's... Wasn't too long ago, some people were living out here. Insulation. Most people, they got electricity. Okay, hold up. The stove. The plumbing. Desk. Craziest staircase ever. Kitchen. It has heaters in here. It's lap plaster. So I mean it's pretty old. I mean, seriously. That's actual tile. I think some people took a dookie in here. Crazy. There you go. Like there's an attic. People have gotten up there. So just beyond those red and yellow flowers, this old picket freaking fence. You can go up here. Those are just beautiful, seriously. I gotta find out what kind of those are. Figure out how to get some seeds from them. Come back. Okay, here's the electrical old connector, connect post. Always watch your ground, I'm telling you. There's that building. Probably asbestos, shingle, siding. This cord goes up. Oh, what is this, like a well thing? There's a barrel in there. Crazy. I think it was a well. I mean, house is down. Usually you'd pump water downhill. I could be wrong. Yep, there's a spigot right there. Yep. Crazy. So 
So here's like an old shed barn coop. Has the arrow letting you know which way you got to go to the lake at the end of the trail. I don't see an entrance to this one. Here's a view of the land out here. Let's go check the other side. There might be a, looks like I see a door on the other side. Make sure you always check the ground. I already came across a bull snake, not a rattlesnake this time, lucky. I'll take my uh, ND filter off. <sighs> Trashed old mattress. Everything's falling apart. Pretty cool. Probably can't see, it's too dark. So it looks like this had some electrical hooked up to it at one point. Let me turn my ISO down, sorry about that. Choo, choo, choo. So this one's probably more newer than the other ones. Oh, there's actually an electric tool. That's what it looks like from the inside. Your actual light in here. Like I said, this one's probably newer. It's actually got an electrical hookup at one point. Nice little shelving. Oh, this must be like a... Uh, it's like a chicken coop, but why would you have electricity out here? Honey, I'm home. Fuse pedal. Crazy. Some plugins right there. And here we got an old barn. It's a cool looking tree around it. It's got nice red tinted leaves. This thing though is fallen apart. We get closer. So there's a door, probably not safe. It's like breaking as I walk in, but you can't really even see. It's just another decrepit room. Oh, you can't see him. Let's see if I, oh, even with the ISO up. Oh, he's gone. Well, this is the view. I'm gonna head to the lake.
Well, I made it to the lake down here. It's quite a climb. After you get past that homestead, it is like just straight uphill for, it's like not even a hill, it's like a mountain, it feels like. I was sweating, but I was also just, you know, hauling. Did I, didn't want my camera to die, you know? But it's pretty peaceful down here. Just me right now. Lucked out. There was peak cars when I got to the trailhead, but I passed everyone hiking out. Oh, that bird is close. Yeah, it's about 3.2 miles, I'd say, to get to the lake. And then to the homestead's like 1.5 mile and a half. Just about a mile, three miles and a quarter to the lake. It's quiet. The, the birds out here are amazing. There's some, um, seem like these blue tinted birds that I've never, really, I've never seen anywhere else. And they're like, almost like a green blue. It's pretty intense. It's pretty cool. They're really ex extremely small and fast. They just fly around you. There was like a giant like crane bird when I got here. I didn't know what it was. I was like, what the? <laughs> but it flew up into a tree. It might still be there. Mosquitoes are, they're not as bad. I've seen worse, but they're out here. It's also June, so to be expected. Sun's starting to shine though. It wasn't shining earlier. It was kind of cloudy all day. The first part of the trail, pretty easy. If you're heading to the lake, it's much more challenging if you're not ready for that, that incline. But overall, it's a, it's a enjoyable trail. I really enjoyed it. The canyons, the views are amazing. And then the homestead's really neat to go to and see, you know, I like seeing old stuff. Yeah, I think so in total, all the way back, it's gonna be like six miles, six and a half miles or something. But the the first, you know, like I said, the first half is easy, and then the last half, it's pretty challenging. It's not extremely challenging, but if you're not ready, like I said, it could be be a tent. Definitely bring water, that's for sure. I just ate a sandwich before I started the thing. With that being said, enjoy the, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the trail. Definitely come out and check it out if you wanted to see it, you know. it's You could camp out here too, so that's also like a bonus. So I was like, I kind of want to camp out here. You could probably fish out in this. Like I haven't checked. Don't take my word on for it, you know. I'm just making a video with my experience. With that being said, take it easy for the last time. And... Enjoy the trails.